Hello fellow Catanians and welcome back to Seafarers this time. I know it's rare that I play just Seafarers, not City Tonight's with Seafarers, but we are just enjoying a nice game of Seafarers to see who can win. And I just want to say, I'm sorry I haven't been posting some Catan gameplay on YouTube for about two weeks because I have been super busy at my full-time job. And by the way, if my voice sounds weird, the top left part of my lip and my mouth is numb because I just had to go to the dentist get some fillings but I think to me I sound sound halfway decent so we're just going to continue with this uh commentary so yeah I've been out working uh all these protests have been going on near where I'm working so we got to be a little extra careful and I've also been working on my Mustang and I've been making it louder I like to have drive a loud car that's just kind of me especially a v8 car make it loud and stick shift and mustang and american car and all of those you know bundled up in one uh older mustang it's just uh my type of car so i've been working on that trying to get it done unfortunately it i messed up a flange i bent it actually with how tight i tightened it so i had to make some new ones at the machine shop i work at but enough about that. In this version of Seafarers, we are going to win by a single turn. I have posted gameplay where I lose by a single turn. And presumably, you know, if I had one more turn, I would have had the resources to build one more victory point to win or two in some of those previous cases on previous videos on my channel. But this one finally... I won by a turn, and I know that because everyone is neck and neck at the end of this game, and if I would have let it go one more turn, I'm pretty sure that red would have made it happen, or gray would have made it happen, and you're going to see that play out later on. But for now, we're starting out building on the main island, so I got my starting settlements. I got a... I'm doing pretty good, um... I guess in both regards, in, in terms of resource diversity and number, number diversity is all right. I have a four, six, nine near the bottom of your screen, and I'm on a sheep, wheat, and a brick. And then up top, I kind of double down on the wheat and brick. I'm on an eight wheat, ten brick, ten stone. So that's good for early on. I get my first city pretty quickly in the first couple turns. I almost got it on like the, the first or second turn. It would have been really cool, but had to wait a little longer. As Red goes ahead and builds a settlement on the 8 stone, 11 stone, and 3 for 1 port. What a hot spot out of the whole board. That was a such a good spot. Of course they would go for that. I completely get their mindset. Not only did they get a port and more stone, they also get to start building out to the islands. And in this version of Seafarers, totally blank on what it's called, of course, but if you build on a new island, it's one point for the settlement and then two extra victory points for building on that new island. So as you can see, I was um, trying to steal from one of them to get a stone because obviously they got some stone going on to quickly build my second city, but I got a wood instead, which is good because I was talking about resource diversity but, of course, I just didn't build on wood. And I really, I really wanted to build on that uh, spot with the four brick, four wood, and the nine wheat. But I was like, man, that's not enough number diversity. Although I do get the wood. I'm just, I need the stone, though. So that's why I went up top for my other starting settlement. So that's what I had to do. And it's funny that nine gave me extra wheat. But you'll see that I have the backwards... Uh, ratio of what I need for a city. I have three wheat and two stone, and I need three stone and two wheat to get in the city. So Gray goes ahead and steals from me, because I guess uh, he feels slighted that I've been stealing from him. And I will do so for a lot of the game, because if you look at his, one of his starting settlements on the, what is that, a three wood, eight stone with the wood port, he's building his ships over to get on that juicy, delicious, all ever loving eight gold or aqueduct or whatever you call it in seafarers at the top right of your screen and you get to just choose 
a resource of whatever you want. So, of course, the gold is up there and not down below. The, that bottom island kind of cut off by the screen is just wheat and stone, which I already have, but it'll be nice to build on that later if I could to get the two extra victory points from building on a new island, which really makes the game of seafarers go quicker than you would think because building three victory points in one turn is you know pretty powerful and if you can do that over a couple turns like if on two at least even just two new islands that's six victory points out of a 14 victory point game that's almost half the victory points you need so that's why building on new islands and some of these seafarers uh, mo scenarios that benefit you victory points is so vital to, in winning and I actually almost won the game without doing so but eventually it had to happen because that's an unorthodox challenge for another time we're just playing a nice normal strategic game of Catan here as I get shut down and if you'll notice it has been a long time since I've been trying first trying to build my second city on that six sheep nine wheat four brick i have just barely been getting held back from getting just the right amount of cards to do so with some sevens mixed in there of course so gray indeed has his settlement now on that eight gold and you see there's a two gold up above that one but i mean what what's a two really gonna do for you it's not really gonna get rolled at all in fact in this game it may have even gotten rolled like once maybe as uh, some eights got rolled and my eight weed is shut down, of course. Every time they put the robber on me, it always seems like they put it on a number I really need. So I just got some sixes. I got some sheep. I don't really need sheep. Although I did manage to build a victory point development card. So that's pretty nice. I don't know if I could do that again. Now look at this. The ten was the number I needed so I could get the city, right? I have the cards to build a city. Watch what I'm going to roll. Can you guess what I'm going to roll? You are absolutely right. I'm going to roll another 7. But thankfully this time I had enough cards where I could burn off a bunch and I still had enough to build the city. So I was happy about that. Usually it does not work out for me that way. Usually if I have a lot of cards, I end up having coming up one short for the thing I'm trying to build. So now I have two cities on the board. I still have zero settlements or cities built on wood hexes, but I will change that. As you can see, I'm, I have a road built down to build on the 3 sheep, 8 wheat, 12 wood. And you would get your socks knocked off to give it a throwback old saying, but that 12 will get rolled more than once, and I will benefit from that 12 wood. So that is going to come in crucial later in the game. As a Monopoly is going to take my wheat, and he is going to use said Monopoly and said wheat to build himself a city. And of course, why put it on the main island when you can just double down and put it on your gold hex? Because no one else at this point is going to be even able to touch that gold hex or come close to it. I mean, red and I have a chance, if you look at the top middle of your screen, if we build all the way to the coastline up top, maybe near that stone port or the three wood, 11 sheep, and then start building ships out to that eight gold, we might have a chance, but by the time we start going over there, gold or Gray's going to be like, I know what y'all are doing. So he's going to probably build some roads or ships to cut us off and then just build on more gold for himself, which is what I would do, of course. But he's also being very smart because he just built a another ship pointing to the six brick. And if he builds on that island, that is a new island for him. So he will gain an additional three victory points. For building on that island so very smart play from him as oh look what do you know that's what he does so now he's already at nine victory points and if you check the timestamp, but where we're at in the video we're not even halfway done with the video and he is five victory points away from winning he's already more than halfway there while me and red are kind of lagging behind i'm at five red's at four you know, we're, we're doing what we can as I build in my settlement and I gain a wood hex. It's not the best wood hex. It's actually one of the worst wood hexes, but it's a wood hex nonetheless. So I'm going to go with that. Hopefully I can get some wood production here. Although I do benefit immediately. I get a three, which gives me a sheep, 
which is not totally helpful, but for trading in purposes, I'll take it. Because eventually I'm going to want to get a 3 for 1 port to trade in some of the more useless resources. Sorry, sheep, I hate to say it, but sometimes you're just not, just not worth it. Now, Gray goes ahead and starts to build some roads down to that one spot. I wanted to get to that spot, but now it's impossible for me to build on that four brick, four wood, nine wheat. And I thought he was going to build on that, but he's like a one step further after road building. He built an additional road so he could get the sheep port, and I get it because he is on a six sheep. And he wants to get to the coastline as well, so we can start building down to the third new island that he is not built on. It's still new to him, so that would boost him up to 12 victory points. What a mastermind of the game. It's kind of a shame I beat him, because he had such a well thought out strategy. And there's your two that gets rolled. But unfortunately, um, the only person on two is red with a two wood. What a mastermind of the game. You know, he had such a wealth at strategy, and I feel bad because I ended up winning still. He should have won this game. But because the, the rolls came in at the certain times that they did, and because I was shutting him down at the certain times I did, with help from Red, of course, we managed to slow him down enough for us to catch up, and for one of us, mainly me, to win the game. Now, I did think that Red was actually going to take this win, Although you see Gray have a strong, strong lead early on, we all know what matters the most is where, when it counts, is the second half of the game. And it's still true in this one. So Gray has the lead early on, but just take a look at what Red has got going on. Initially, Red's got just two settlements in a city, and Red is built out ready to put another settlement on the five sheep 11 sheep, 10 brick. But, even though the pirate ship is blocking Red from building any ships, it gets moved, and so now Red is free to build some ships off of the 11 stone hex and build out to it, that new island to then have Red earn themselves three victory points. And I'm going to roll a four, I get some brick, and it's not super helpful i can still do a four for one trade although i would prefer to do a three for one or i would prefer to have that brick port but it's kind of just a little bit out of reach because i'm not getting a lot of wood so i would need two wood to get over to that brick port with the six wheat and actually thinking about it i probably should have just gone for the six wheat and the sheep port even though there's a desert x there because the sheep port to me having an eight wheat with a city and a settlement on it, plus a nine wheat with a city on it, that would have just been really hot. Because at one point later in this game, as you see a 12 get rolled, I am going to have like 13 wheat in my hand. And to have that wheat port, oh, I would have won sooner. I would have had to retitle the video, actually, because I would not have won by a single turn. It would have been won by like four or five turns or something. So... Pirate Ship's going to go back on Gray. Even though he had zero cards, I just wanted to prevent him from building any any more down towards where Red is. I didn't want him to encroach, encroach on Red because I would rather Red benefit from building on that area than Gray. Even though Gray could still build on, let's say, I don't know, the 11 brick, just the tip of it. And then just let Red, you know, mosey on their way down to the 5 wood, 10 sheep. And the robber comes in. What do you know? I have more than seven cards. It's to be expected at this point. I'm not surprised anymore. And quick sound check. I'm sorry that the in-game audio is still not coming through. It records on my phone and I can play it back. But for some reason, when I send the recording via, via airdrop to my Mac, the audio just disappears. So I still don't know what to do with that. But thankfully, my voice is coming through hopefully loud and clear just let me know in the comments if there's any issues with that so continuing on at this point i'm like you know what all these people building on these new islands i gotta hop on that as you see red boost up to nine victory points and i'm like if i don't do something soon i'm gonna be left behind because i'm still at seven victory points and i really need to get up i'm only halfway there i need to get to 14 so 
I'm just going to keep trying to get a settlement on that nine wheat with the three for one port. And look, the 10, rolling a 10 is my favorite because I get four cards. I get some stone. I get some brick. I get kind of a, and I get another 10. So I get a little diversity of what I need to do. And finally, I do not roll a seven. I roll a four. I just have a bunch of cards. So you know what? It's time to get building. No development cards. Let's build a settlement. Then I could have built a city immediately, immediately upgraded that settlement. But I was like, you know what? I really got to get down this new island. If I get left out, then it's it's going to be a bad scene because I'm going to, without that three point victory point boost, it's just going to be too little too late for me. And here we are. We're kind of at this point a little bit past halfway or maybe three quarters of the way through the game and I build my one ship and I'm like you know what let me build trade in for a sheep and I'll buy a development card and I'll get a knight and I was like really hoping for road building or monopoly or victory point card one of those or year of plenty that would have really helped me but of course I get a knight and um at this point it's too late to try to buy two more knights because that's really conflicting with my whole build another ship and then build a settlement so i'm just kind of forego to building development cards as my eight week gets shut down my my money maker my wheat maker i would have gotten four cards off of eight roll but now it's shut down but thankfully i have that knight that i could just built to conveniently use and then shut down gray's eight gold because no one wants to see him roll an 8 and get two cards of whatever he wants. That's just too powerful as an 8 gets rolled. So I benefit, Red benefits, and he doesn't. And he says, you keep coming for me. And I'm like, I just have to shut down the gold. I don't care whose gold it is. I just need it to not produce resources so that I can continue to build myself up and have a chance to win. So you see that both red and gray are at 10 victory points apiece. They need four more. So longish road, like I always say, late in the game, it really comes into play. Whoever takes it is just doing really well. Or if you're really far behind, you can take it and hold on to it. You're ho you are holding up one of the winning leading players from winning for a, a little bit longer. Or at least a good while sometimes. So I get my settlement on a new new island. So I boost myself ahead of everybody and get 11 victory points. So now I'm like, wow, I actually have a chance here. But red still has longest road. They have a seventh length road. And gray is not really in the running for longest road. And plus you can see if red were to connect their um, road system or I guess in uh, Seafarers, it's called the longest shipping route. But if they connect their longest shipping route with their other roads on the main island where the, you know, the, their, their city and their settlement is with the brick and the sheep on the fives, they would have, they would probably just cement having longest shipping route for the rest of the game. But thankfully, they don't do that. And I actually have a chance. And you'll look at Gray. Gray built a ship off of their sheep port where the four brick of the nine wheat is. And I'm like, I knew it. I knew all along that they were trying to build down to that island that I just built on. They want to build on the four stone and get three victory points to boost themselves to 13 victory points. And thus build one more to win the game. And I'm like, I don't know. I just can't let that happen. So I got to, I can't block them. I I mean, I was building out some more roads and, and uh, ships here. I think just roads, actually. But it was going to be too much to try to fight them over there. So I was like, let me just go over here and build some roads all back on the main island. You're going to see that here in a little while. So, yeah, it's getting crazy. It's coming down to the wire. We're maybe like 85% of the way through the game, if not 90%. And we're all neck and neck at this point, and it's crazy. I'm like, this this is anybody's game. It, it just it comes down to the dice rolls. You can have as much strategy as you want, but at the end of the day, it comes down to the dice rolls. Unless you have like three nights, you've been just sitting on the whole game. You're ready to just like pop, 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 three turns, play them out, get two extra victory points, and be on your way. 
but I don't think that was the case. Even though Red has two victory or two development cards at this point, we all didn't know what they were, but it's safe to assume at least one of them was a victory point, kind of like mine. And but thankfully they don't get largest army. As I build two roads, and I'm like, you know what? I can actually take longest road from Red. This is I have a shot at this. As an eight gets rolled, unfortunately. Gray gets two of whatever he wants because the eight gold is wide open for business. But I get four wheat and red gets two wheat. So, oh, I forgot. Uh, red and gray each get a stone from the eight stone. So eight is is hot for everyone when it's when no one's a shut down. And a ten comes through late in the game. That's just what I need. But gray builds another ship. He's touching the four stone hex. If he builds a settlement, he wins. He needs four cards. And a robber comes the worst time for me because I need to take longest road. Longest shipping route, sorry. I know in Seafarers it's longest shipping route, but I keep saying longest road. So I need to take that longest shipping route, but I got to burn some cards because, of course, this, the game is just like, hey, let's ro throw a seven for Dupinator when he's just about to make some moves. So thankfully, I can shut down the eight gold. I can trade in. Now I have the three for one port. I've had it for a little while. Trade in some wheat for a wood. Build me another road. I am so close to taking long a shipping route. I need to build one more road or ship in my continuous line. And I will be good to go with that. That'll boost me to 13 victory points. A 12 gets rolled. I'm telling you, these late game rolls are crazy. So I get a 12. I'm now finally up to be able to build on that uh, 6 wheat desert hex sheet port. But it doesn't matter because at this point, I just need to get that long shipping route, build a settlement, or upgrade one of my existing settlements to a city, and I'll be victorious, and I'll be a happy guy, happy lad. And I'm just like, man, Gray, all they had to do was get four cards together to build a settlement, and for some reason, it just doesn't happen. And for some reason, Red doesn't make it happen either i thought they were also going to build on that same island because they were also touching the four stone so they would have been boosted up to 13 victory points with that settlement uh acquisition but thankfully i take longest shipping road i thank everyone for playing perhaps a little cheeky but you know i like to have a little sense of humor throw down my settlement anywhere i can on the board that's available and i win the game by a single turn i know in my deepest heart of hearts that gray had the cards to lay down a settlement on their next turn i just know it i can feel it they got shut down a lot in this game which sucks for them but it's good for us because we win thanks for watching i'll try to upload more frequently but i got a lot of stuff going on i'll see you guys in the next one peace